Hey guys, this is Mirako and I am so excited. I'm in Thailand right now in the jungle. We're at um, a house that we have rented as a family with our kids for 10 years and it's like up on stilts, jungle everywhere. We're kind of near a beach so if you hear that motor sound, uh, I apologize for the audio on that because those are the long tail boats going back and forth. This morning, Brian was over here uh, just kind of looking at the canopy because in the morning, uh, gibbon apes will start singing and it is the most beautiful sound and they are singing this morning. So I ran and I got my camera. This is a camera I want to talk to you guys about today. It's a Sony RX10 III and I am in love with this camera. I have never used this camera until this trip and it is probably the best travel camera ever. <laughs> and I'm gonna tell you why. Um, but I wanna see if you can hear the gibbons. So like, let's listen really, really quick. I don't know if you hear this whoop. It's like this whoop, whoop, whoop. That is my favorite sound in the world and those are gibbon apes. Gibbon apes live in this jungle and in the morning, if we're lucky, they'll start singing. Oh, here they go. They go. They just get louder and louder and louder. They go whoop, whoop, whoop. And however many whoops they do, Oh my gosh, it's just so cool. So however many whoops they do is how many of them are in a family. We can hear them for miles and miles, but it's really hard to spot them. And we are spotting them this morning. And so the reason this camera, I'm just like, this is the one I grabbed more than anything else because we have our A7R2. We have a telephoto lens that's like 200 to 400 millimeters. And that's what I would normally use when we're here. But this lens, the Sony RX10 III, this lens goes all the way to 600 millimeters. And they are way up in that canopy over there, almost like where that tree is kind of dead. They're up in that canopy up there. They are really high up there, which is hard to see with the naked eye. But <laughs> with my 600 millimeter zoom, I'm seeing just fine. <laughs> and so I basically have been this morning just zooming in as tight as I can with this 600 millimeter and capturing just these epic shots of them, which you have to understand, Thailand calls the gibbon apes their white ghosts because they're covered in white fur and they're so quiet when they're not singing. It's very hard to get photos of, of these gibbon apes. And so for me to get any photos at all, I'm just like so elated. Uh, so here's the thing. Let me tell you some of the specs on this camera. It um, has 24 to 600 millimeter lens, zoom lens on it. The camera model before this, the RX10 II, only went to 200 millimeters. So this is going to 600 and that is a huge difference. Uh, if you love, like when you're doing travel photography, being able to get birds, uh, any kind of wildlife. We had 30 monkeys just ransack our house yesterday morning. And you can see that video on our YouTube channel, Adventure Family, also because that was insane. Whether you're getting monkeys ransacking your place and you wanna go wide at 24 millimeters because they're that close to you, or you wanna zoom in way up in the jungle's canopy where the gibbon apes are singing and swinging around, you can do it with this lens. It is uh, a Zeiss lens. 
And so this is an amazing built-in premium lens. It has a one inch uh, CMOS sensor. I would say I've been shooting with Sony cameras. I've been one of their Sony artisans for a number of years. We've been partnered with them for 10 years. And I can tell you that Sony sensors are what they pride themselves in. Bigger sensor equals more light, which gives you better image quality. That's a huge deal when you're looking at what kind of camera to buy. Uh, it also is 14 FPS, which is 14 frames a second, and so you can get super fast shots. It has 4K video on it and amazing slow motion video capture as well, which is really like fun to play with. And it has the tiltable screen, which I absolutely love. I never look through this viewfinder anymore unless it's really sunny and I want to just be able to see like, you know, through the viewfinder much better. Otherwise, I'm always using this tiltable screen. One of the things though I love about Sony setups is that if I want to see how my images are coming out and I push play, I can push play and I can look through the viewfinder and see my image really clear versus just having to look at it on the live view. So I love that piece too. I normally would bring my Sony a7R2. I love that camera. That camera is the one I use most of the time. But man, for getting stuff like way up in the trees or far away, I have just been blown away. So we um, just finished doing our Portrait of Thailand photography workshop tour. We take about 10 people all the way through Thailand to our favorite off the beaten path secret places. One of the places we go to is a national park where we sleep in floating bamboo huts on the lake. And you have to sleep in these floating bamboo huts because wildlife at night actually comes down to the lake to drink, whether it's wild elephants, it's wild cats, I mean, it's just phenomenal. Uh, so when we were going with our group to do that, I, I just know being, you know, having spent a lot of time up at that lake, that there's all these things that are telephoto that I'm gonna wanna capture, and being on a long tail boat, it's bouncy, and so a telephoto lens is just like, hard to get because the bounce of the boat and then that lens is so heavy. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna try this RX10 III. And so I sometimes have a hard time trying a new camera because you know when you get used to a camera and you just know how it works, like the back of your hand, it's hard to pick up something new. But I thought, you know, this is so light and the fact that I can you know, zoom all the way out to 600 millimeters. I'm just gonna try this thing. Well, that was like, I don't know, like five or six days ago, and I have not put this camera down. <laughs> I've been shooting wide stuff on the beach. I've been shooting telephoto stuff. And now, like, I can honestly say, this Sony RX10 III, I believe, in my opinion, is the best travel camera. For our travel photography workshops, I am definitely gonna be telling them to look at this as a, as whether it's a backup camera, it's only $1,500, it's insane. So whether it's your backup camera or your main camera, I just feel like you cannot go wrong with this thing. So anyways, I hope that's helpful. Um, I'm just so excited and surprised by what I've gotten out of this and that I get to share it with you like in action with the Gibbon Apes this morning singing and uh, the photos, the stills that I'm getting from it. So thanks you guys. A one, two, three, four. You got me feeling so alive. Thank you so much for watching and if you love these episodes please make sure to like them subscribe and click the bell so you get to see all our adventure family episodes